The Roman physician Galen, who treated gladiators, said that their training turned one into a deformed creature with an exaggerated body size and overly grown muscles. Now Galen was a Greek, so he probably preferred moderate proportions over an excessively muscled physique. But he could also be referring to the visible asymmetry in their bodies, as most gladiators would have one side of their body vastly stronger than the other. This was no doubt because of the uneven loading of carrying a sword in one hand and a shield in the other. Another side effect of their equipment, in this case the heavy helmets, was an overly muscular neck, with some skeletal remains showing they had up to four times the neck muscle growth compared to a regular person. Now I'm not sure if this is the epitome of a masculine neck or very odd proportions, but I'll leave it for you to decide. Gladiators were also not particularly lean, like Spartans or legionaries. In fact, most of them were known to carry a lot of fat, 